So now let us see the topic how to calculate the time period on recurring deposit in this uh, problems. So whenever the given in any question the principal amount and rate of interest and maturity value and how to find out the time period. So let us see. So principal value they give and rate of interest and maturity value. When you give this three then how to find out the time period. So okay you observe this question here. So in this question, the mean has a cumulative time deposit account. So don't get confused. So recurring deposit account or cumulative time deposit account is same. Okay, CTDA, cumulative time deposit account or RD, recurring deposit account. Okay, these two are same. So she has the cumulative time deposit account or recurring deposit account of rupees three forty per month. So three forty is the principal amount. At six percent per annum, so our, our rate of interest is six. And if she gets seven thousand one fifty seven at the time of maturity, find total time for which the account was held. So how many months we need to find out? Okay, let us take the given data and apply in the formula. So let the required time be x months or n months. Let me take. I'm taking x. Let the required Time be x months. So number of months let be x. That we need to find out. Now in this uh, problem, the p value is given. There is a principal per month is the monthly installment is a pin a p. So rupees uh, 340, 340 rupees, and rate of interest. So r value is equals to 6% per annum. Okay. These uh, two are given. And maturity value is mentioned 7157. First, we'll, by using this data, we'll find out the maturity value that we can equate to maturity value amount. So, we know the simple interest formula that is P into N into N plus 1 divided by 2 into 1 by 12 into R by 100. So, in this formula, we'll apply the data. So that is the uh, principal is 340 into n into n plus 1. So n value is uh, we don't know that only we take number of months. So here n value is nothing but x because number of months is x. So in the place of n, I'm taking x into x plus 1 divided by 2. So 1 by 12 and r value is 6, 6 by 100. So this is the simple interest. So let us simplify this value. Then if we simplify the 40, just possible we can cancel. Okay, your uh, zero zero can cut and two one sir uh, two seventeen, right? And more six and two six one zero uh, six two is a twelve. Now two ten seventeen is the prime number, it's not visible. Then seventeen x into x plus one. Is numerator divided by 2 into 10 is 20 okay this is the simple interest now but we have uh, in the problem it's given maturity value that is 7157 then maturity value formula I'll write so you know the formula for maturity value is equals to P into N plus simple interest okay. this formula for maturity value now just apply Maturity value is given according to the problem that is 7157. Okay, and p value is uh, that is 340 into n is x 340x plus simple interest you can take from this that is 17 into x into x plus 1 by 20. Now, this equation you have to simplify to get the value of x. Then just you can take all the simplification. Then amount received is already 7157. Then if you simplify this 340x plus 17x into x is 17x square plus 17x. Okay, divide by 20. And that is, is equal to 7157. Then if it is a simplification, you can do 340 means 340 by x do lcm and simplify 
then that is uh, 7 take all the x terms on side so 20 is lcm 340 into 20 just simplify so 340x into 20 plus 17x square plus 17x just to multiply then if you simplification everything you do then you get 17x square plus 17x plus here 340 into 20 that is uh, 6800x is equals to 20 into 7157 that is 143140 by simplification take all the terms on side and that is 17x square you get one uh, quadratic equation that we need to solve plus 17x plus this value that is 6817x minus take this values inside so 143140 is equal to 0 that is 1,43,140 now to make the equation simple you can try check with 17 you can divide with 17 or just take 17 common take 17 common x square plus this also is in 17 table okay that is um, 401x minus again this also you can cancel that is 8420 is equal to 0 just to simplify this now take this 17 0 by 17 is 0 so then finally quadratic equation is x square plus 401x minus 8420 is equal to 0 8420 is equal to 0 now this quadratic equation you need to solve that is you get the final answer so that is splitting in the metal term this time I'm writing this side then x square plus so 401 is 421 minus 20 plus 421x minus 20x splitting in the middle term if you add this both numbers you get 8420 is equal to 0 so take uh, first from first to two terms x common x plus 421 and minus 20 common x plus 421 is equal to 0 then x plus 421 into x minus 20 is equal to 0 then from this both just you can take one more page that is uh, so you got x plus 421 into x minus 20 is equal to 0 then x is equals to minus 421 or x is equals to plus 20 so here x is equals to minus 420 is neglected that means x is, should not be equals to minus 421 because negative value. Therefore, x is equals to 20. So x is the number of months. So therefore, hence the required time. So x is the time I taken. So x is time is equals to 20 months. So 12 years, 12 months, one year. So then 8, so 1 year, 8 months, the total time period, right? So this is 1, you should take the, every time whenever you require to find out the time, you get the quadratic equation, because n into n plus 1, so x into x plus 1 means x square, so you will get quadratic equation that you have to solve, so this type is important, so from the given data only you can find out all this, so in this way you can find out the time period on recurring deposit. And from this uh, same channel and uh, providing the link in description below, you can see the website name also. So from this, if you observe, so not only this, other topics from the same class also are available. You can go through that uh, topics and chapter wise, which you can download and you can uh, learn them. Okay, subscribe the channel because you'll upload only the videos which are related to the education, especially useful for, uh, useful for students. I hope you understood well. Thank you very much.